A very good morning guys and welcome back to another daily market outlook in today's video as always we're going to be running you through the major dollar pair so starting off with euro dollar euro dollar yesterday um started moving back up in towards the highs so this is pretty much what i was referring to yesterday we're just stuck pretty much inside this range and there is still the possibility of the market at the moment taking out the liquidity which lies above this high so at the moment i'm just going to leave price do its thing i'm not going to get involved at this point in time the main thing that i do find interesting however is obviously that we've now broken this fractal high over here so we can clearly see that the fractal structure every single time stayed in touch we pushed in towards the highs came exactly back in towards this sell before the buy fractal structure wise and from there continued in towards the highs and then at a certain point in time obviously after a for our bullish candle close above this high supply tapped into twice so that means supply becomes weaker and therefore the probability of the market moving in towards the highs further has then become higher so now what does it look like um, well due to the fact that we've now broken this fractal high and we kind of have this bullish internal structure so close again above this high for example it is more likely that we're now ready to take out the liquidity above this high as this is your swing high over here and this high over here try to take out that high it pushed the market down but not with a lot of momentum and not enough momentum um, at least to break for example this fractal low so now the probability is extremely high that we're going to be taking out this swing high very very soon and grab the liquidity which lies above it we could see a short-term pullback for example in towards this area of demand this sell before the buy but at the moment fractal low okay guys so the fractal low is currently this doji candle over here and this doji candle is also a sell before the buy so once again we can very clearly see that the market is tapping in towards that sell before the buy over here and moving out of it directly once again so as long as this low over here is respected uh we do expect further upside to occur so now what i'm looking for is a candle close a strong one above this sell candle over here meaning that then once again this is your sell before the buy then potentially a wicking and then for example again a push out again so that's at the moment what i'm looking for further upside on your dollar to take out the liquidity and then afterwards potentially we could start seeing a dump once again but as long as the fractal structure remains bullish for now we are still looking at further upside personally not getting involved just due to the obvious range nature um, or you could say it's a trend nature but kind of counter trend nature on the swing structure so not my cup of tea and therefore just staying out and happy with these two trades for december now moving on in towards the dollar index the dollar index moved back up in towards supply from there it just dumped back down in towards the lows so obviously we've now seen a four hour bos um, occur over here so four hour candle close below the swing low meaning that the four hour is now once again uh, yeah continued bearish now going in towards the daily um yeah we pretty much just are following order flow at the moment so there's not much to do as long as the order flow remains bearish we remain bearish got my eyes out pretty much on this zone over here as our next area of potential demand at 101 300 um, that i'm looking at for now so yeah guys i mean for now just uh, keep an eye out on the overall four hour swing structure at the moment this is your swing high on the four hour so as long as this high is respected for the downside as possible this obviously is our buy before the sell so we could just uh, yeah start moving back in towards there but keep an eye on order flow your current fractal high is positioned over here so this is your current fractal high um, so if we see strong four hour bearish candle close this then becomes your fractal area of supply um, so then you'll be looking for shorts once again from inside of yeah this buy before the sell if we then break this high that would mean that the dollar index is ready to push up higher and then we'll be looking at this zone and you can take that into account when trading um, yeah, the euro dollar for example and then we expect this move over here to be mirrored pretty quickly so that is the dollar index now moving on in towards aussie dollar so aussie dollar um obviously pushed up higher um not the worst thing i was looking for potential short uh, from this area of supply this buy before the sell um, but obviously if we look to our left we didn't have anything significant well now we have tapped in towards an area of significant demand or supply excuse me so now what i'm waiting for is to see okay is this reaction valid in the market are we going to see a further push down at the moment this is your fractal low that is also where demand lies so i would love to see a push in towards there the overall ascending corrective nature of price does point out to me that aussie dollar should be ready to give us and provide us with a bigger correction very very soon so that's what i'm at the moment looking at 
I'm not going to be doing anything with price over here. If price pushes in towards here, we can look for longs. But obviously, um, then if price breaks this low of the four hour fractal structure, then we'll be looking for shorts to trade the overall ascending correction deeper in towards downside, at least back down below this fractal um, or below this liquidity low, as there is a lot of trend line liquidity lying below these lows. So that's Aussie dollar, now pound dollar, because pound dollar was actually very interesting yesterday. Because what pound dollar did, and again guys, um, I pointed out that we could see a potential correction back down into this area of daily demand. But then what happens, this candle close, it doesn't close strong below this fractal low, meaning that this buy for the sell isn't like real supply um, to push price further down. So then what happens, we push up, so we break this fractal high. So this is uh, of this bullish candle over here. So this bullish one over here, that's your fractal high that broke this fractal low. So then what happens? We break the fractal high, boom, reversal, meaning that this then becomes your demand. What happens then? We see a tap back in towards demand and that is the moment that you can put your long because again, guys, we are, where are we? We are at the EQ. So at the 50% mark, we're inside an area of demand and then we have our fractal entry over here, which is in line with the overall swing structure. So the overall order that you would have wanted to place is like this with your stop loss beneath the low and you would now be around one and a half percent in profit with obviously the first target this area of supply um, and then ultimately a one to three so that's the trade opportunity on pound dollar uh, and now expecting that further upside movement at least in towards this next reaction point which is this you know, small area of supply so looking for that further upside on pound dollar now kiwi dollar so kiwi dollar um, yeah, we were looking obviously for longs yesterday. Of course, we tapped in towards the sell for the buy, um, tapped in. Then what did we have? Fractal structure break on this bearish candles high. So I was looking to see, can we tap in and tap out again? Sadly, price never moved that deep. So at the moment, just leaving entity USD for what it is. But we could look um, yeah, for a new four hour swing high and a trade yeah, towards these highs over here and these areas of supply. Um, that we are looking for uh, yet to see ends the usd move towards then last of all gold gold did exactly what we wanted yesterday a very very clean trade opportunity yesterday once again um, of course break of this four hour fractal high daily is bullish as we all know so the daily is bullish in towards the highs react to this area of demand over here going in towards the four hour what happens on the four hour the four hour then becomes fractal bullish as well so what happens, we break this high uh, of this, which of course, this was your fractal low, this was your fractal high, we break the fractal high, what means this becomes your low, this becomes your high. Then we move back down in towards the sell before the buy, we see slow down. Then fractal structure break, that high, this is your area of demand, and then very simple, an order on the demand zone with your stop loss below demand, and you would now be around, yeah, already 3% profit has been hit, so this would have been a TP hit. Obviously, I'm not trading FX anymore this month um, towards in January, but again, a very nice trade opportunity which played out. So, you guys, that's it for today. Wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will speak very, very soon. Thanks, guys.